Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Prey Moon Crash. So, we've opened up the path or the story goals of two of the characters. And so, not really knowing what you're actually supposed to do as far as the security officer's story objective it says it gets worse. Or the engineer saying, a little bird told me. My thought here is that we may straight up just have a quest that requires us to play as this guy for a lot longer so we should just focus on that and try and figure it out now we already had technically the story objective for the director and the volunteer even though we really can't do these story objectives we might be able to pull this one off but mostly we're still trying to unlock the custodian slash chasma spy so let's just go with this. Um, we don't have a ton of resources per se to always end up with uh, everything we possibly could want here. Obviously more shotgun shells would probably be better. Um, it probably wouldn't hurt to have an EMP charge we probably only need one though eventually he's just gonna have some kind of typhoon ability I imagine the shock things I imagine all the characters will um, now the only real thought I also have too is that if I was to give him a psycho shot scope maybe uh, then there is a way that each character would scan more Typhon abilities, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so I think I'd leave it with that. Um, now, maybe the mass driver escape is the thing you're supposed to do again, so there is potentially an argument for just like buying five health uh, T rations. We still would need to get an anti rad, which we would have we could buy. And then we'd have to find five non-alcoholic drinks. Until we know what we're supposed to do, though, I think we live without that. Now, noticeably, I almost decided not to go with a Q-Beam Advanced. Which, there is potentially definitely a point where that would stop being the default loadout. But, I'm not quite at that. And then it's, it's an expensive thing to get the propulsion increased, but it's actually, I think, worth it. And I think increasing maximum health is actually worth it, too. Hmm. I wouldn't be 100% surprised if we found that there aren't too many more chips in the entire game, or we just don't unlock too many more chips. So 7,000 points just immediately being spent uh, nullify one voltaic mimic with your null null wave transmitter yeah we probably won't pull that one off as an extra bonus haven't really been focusing in on the bonus one things hmm. so as far as corruption level I imagine we are still at level one and we are still starting in the exact same place as Crater. If we finish the storyline quest, maybe that would change. Let's see. Multiple objectives, one of which is in purple. So let's just... Yeah. We need to find the memory ma marker to begin the crew's members memory store objective okay so at least we now have a slight idea on what we're doing yeah, and this guy has just no typhon abilities at all which is either intentional and just always going to be the case or I would need the psychoscope um, all right. let's go ahead and equip the shotgun and start playing yeah, corruption level one. Not really a lot to do. 
It's like, it kind of just doesn't even matter what is over here. Like, if there was like a secret passageway here, that would be cool. But yeah, I seriously doubt I'm supposed to like try to get over the rim or anything like that. There is this one body here. Well, we can grab a couple things for him. But I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, the memory marker is way, way far. Boy, and that little bump just knocked me in a funny direction. So we'll just leave that. Well, there's no reason to believe that the moon shark wouldn't show up. Hmm. Like, as far as other things, anyways, it's not really a lot that I could do. It would be nice if the moon shark was no longer a consideration. I still can't really get higher though. So just take a little bit of damage. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and throw that and come through here. Yeah. Type and material detected. And yeah, it's probably not even really worth it to just like be very thorough. We haven't spent too many time too much time in the crew annex anyways so if this quest is gonna evolve in some way to like cleaning out the crew annex that would be kind of tough I also, I also want to As it is, I, I just don't think there's a reason even not take this path. Because this is almost certainly your better path to take. Just take everything you can possibly find and set yourself up in as good of a position potentially to start with before we eventually get attacked by something. I mean, it's fairly quiet at the moment, and that has everything I imagine to do with the fact that I am not at a very high corruption level. Nothing's going to get us further down this path, unless we had to repair one, which we don't. So we'll just continue to try and stealth. Okay. Memory marker. It does seem like it's over here. Nope. 
as a weaver. Who happens just to be going my way. Let's go. Yeah, I don't understand why the weaver would... working okay I think we got a phantom here Eating food at the moment is probably not the worst idea, although really not ever going to get much from the well-fed bonus. My shotgun seems to be somewhat broken in the sense that I can't see the number of bullets I have. Whatever. So, we'd come to this area before. And I suspect there would be something here. And we couldn't ever really find the thing. And like, we could never find the code to escape through there. To, well, not to escape, but to open the computer. So if it is just a memory marker, is the thing, then that, I guess, would explain a lot of things, certainly. Like, I guess if I had the password here, which I guess I did because I'm that person, then... Oh wait, so maybe as soon as I had unlocked that this character, I had the password. Let's see what this memory block does. It gives us a flashback. Which is interesting to have any narrative at all. Is our corruption level going up as this happens? Officer, Officer Batia, this is directed to direct you. you. Your men, your are, men being are being slaughtered. slaughtered. Where, are, Where you? are you? It's not the it's type. Not the type. It's Claire Witchin. Witch She's a Kazma spy. spy. She's been here She's long, been here long, enough, long to have enough to have her hooks into, into everything, everything by now. By now. You have you to have track, to her, track down. her down. Pause now if you want to read this. Do not Do let not her get let up, get the, off the base. Do you, Do you understand? understand? I can't be I distracted, can't be distracted, by, distracted by, this right by this right now. Handle it, Handle Batia. It, Batia. I'm, counting I'm counting on you. See, now I have a different gun on me, and even at that, uh, I'm still getting what probably is a visual glitch. So... Nothing really in there. And let's see. Let's see if we can just figure out this. We're kind of at like full inventory now. And our thing is to find Claire Witten. Forget the Chasmus orders for now. Claire Witten's Probably not on the shuttle. Hmm. Like, if anything, I imagine what I need to do is find a security station, which would be to go, which would make a good argument to go 
up towards the shuttle anyways. really is no reason though that this memory corrupted flashback as it were is taking place here there you go let's just see if we can take as much of that as possible and then we have a mass driver exit set up for ourselves because I figure they are going to still move towards the idea like I just ran away Definitely is, really is going to just come down to finding a recycler very quickly. Advanced wrench. It's probably not worth taking. Okay. So while we're here, figure out where the escape pods are. It's in the Pythias lab figure out that the Pythias lab is unpowered and full of radiation Howard. Figure out the tram station status and then all the supply closets are still the same. Okay. Claire Witten is the name and it would almost certainly be someone we haven't found yet and almost certainly be somebody that we've tried to click on and then the game has just said no like this YOLO tomorrow she's on the moonworks okay then here we go I guess the question to ask would be should we leave any kind of care package. Let's just leave that. And we'll take the shotgun. We'll leave the handguns. Hmm. You know what? Probably in such a situation that it does make a lot of sense to just toss the junk because we're not going to do anything with that. We'll leave it there. This is Director Riley Riley Yu. I want to officially welcome our newest arrivals. I'll be blunt. I'll be blunt. The, moon the moon is a harsh, is a harsh mistress. mistress. Your time with time 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 is limited. And the longer, the longer you're, you're here, here, the harder, the harder things, things are going to get for you. But, but, it's the basically the just a game telling you. Somewhere around here is a minute. The game is basically telling you that the game gets harder the longer you stay in a level. Then it really is just going to come down to waiting for the tram to arrive. There it is. We just don't want to spend any extra time here. So we're going to the moonworks, we find Claire Witten, and then we escape via the mass driver. That seems like that is the smart move. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if she is some kind of boss fight 
thing, at the very least, we have the possibility here. Just wanted to take a second to call out a security security commendation. The commendation is to officer to the outstanding service. Be sure to make the record for church at some time to buy the rent. The other thing I guess I can do is just set up this flight kick crate. Perfectly fine. What I suspect will happen here is like when we look at this map area, there are sections as far as like the escape pods and other tunnels that we've just never entered before. So that's probably where she is. And if he's got the security code every time, then great. Definitely want to pick up any fabrication plans or anything like that. I guess the real question would just come down to did we ever have any anti rad stuff? Hmm. Because that would still be something to mess up with. Yeah, I don't think I have an anti-rad pill. So I could see it. I can see that becoming a problem. But honestly, bringing one anti-rad pill wouldn't be too hard. I guess the question would just come down to is it possible that there's an anti red pill in this room? That guy seems new, like he wasn't there before. Either that or they move where the bodies are for piloting connect domes which is very believable just go ahead and turn this off and see that we've got a medical operator Odds of there being a so four of those, and then let's see, we really should just not go too crazy. Split that in down to one, put it there, then one of those, one of those, two of those. two of those so is that five food things and five water things yes so it would just be anti-rads at this point that we would need so the mass driver mostly prepared and apparently no matching key card is that unlocked? It's not like you've got a scan or anything here, though. So. 
Yeah, we're probably just gonna run into a poltergeist or something. And that'll be it. So, where's the other security operator? Seems like my guess is. They set this up and this isn't Claire Witten. Instead, this is just a collection of other people. Hmm. Let's see. That was a booby trap. Pause now if you want to read this. Pause now if you want to read this. Let's see. Use the remote detonation controls to scuttle Claire's escape pod. Or run to the antidote. Okay. Where was the remote control, by the way, for the escape pod? See, this honestly feels like it's sending me out in that direction. Where? Let's just check our inventory. Here, as far as objectives. That's the remote designation controls to scuttle. Things are in a crew annex anyways, and we have more time to do that. All right. So we know what to do. Um, as far as statuses, though, we really only have the cure. So don't have to worry too much about that. Um, so let's just run. And so this is exactly in line with what I suspect was going to happen, is that you were going to end up being given a fairly long list of goals in a linear fashion, and that that is likely to be just the end. But the antidote seems to be that way. Take reactivation in three, three, two, two. The antidote takes us back this way with our propulsion system, though that's not too bad. Moon Shark 2 showing up in this area. Hmm. So we got a full cutscene of injecting ourselves. Target 
Seriously, um, we do have EMP charges, thank goodness. That could have been a problem. And then, why are we fighting a moon shark level 2 at this point? I have to assume it's either because of corruption level 2 or because we've done the memory. Honestly, it feels like probably closer to the memory because it didn't feel like we were fighting moon shark level 2s otherwise. Alright, we have. Let's see. The one question I guess to ask here is now use the remote detonation controls to scuttle Claire's escape pod at the crew annex. Why then did we come this way? I guess I probably just made a stupid mistake that that way. Oh well. We can address that just by projecting ourselves back to the crew annex. You don't take any fall damage. Ideally, we don't need an EMP for this. And even going through this little hallway, total, ver total possibility that the things would have um, reset and there would have been an enemy in the hallway because of the corruption level going up. Still fast enough to... I guess the question now is just looking at the map. Okay, it's the full tower. Alright, so I know what to do. Don't have to worry about it too much. This is definitely where I thought the whole game to would eventually go is that you would just run my elite shotgun not doing as well so we'll equip the standard shotgun and here we can put in the password and then VJ don't don't you don't you don't really write a thing. Sticking around, Sticking around like a good like little boy to mop up the mess she made. She made. You, should you should be on, be the, pod. on the pod. Like me. Like me. Like she, like is. she is. What? What? You cross you at cross me for clapping your, your, your men. Well, maybe well, I'm maybe not the only one on, on this pod, eh? You think about you that, think about my, that friend? my friend? You push you that bad bad and deeper innocent blood on your conscience. Is this guy... I have six minutes. But video game objectives basically say use a remote to disable the explosives on our crew or to enable it. Um, inherently, we were trying to uh, save people, so let's disable it and see what happens. Like, personally, what do we care if we save her? This is just a memory, this is just a simulation. Good, good. You made the, you right, made the choice, right choice, DJ. DJ. Well, you managed you to manage get a alive? alive? I'll look you I'll up. You up. I'll make you another one. Another one. I can't refuse. I've never been in the world of a solid man. I'm a page. I'm a page. Shit, page shit, but, but the work is the work loads, is loads more fun. More fun. Best of luck, Best of luck to, you. to you. Ah, ah. Sorry about, Sorry your, about men. your men. So. Eating a bunch of food. Um. While we're here, we should look for any circuitry 
and then we should just escape. Like, there's... Like, not really that much that needs to be done. Otherwise, they are effectively wasting your time here by offering you emails we've probably all read before or items to pick up that have minimal importance. Um, as far as the crew annex goes, I guess we should think here. The, sh the ship is here, so it does make all the sense in the world to uh, like, I don't know why you would even come back into this whole area. Just like getting points. Yeah. Let's see. Toss a worthless thing, toss a worthless thing here. Just leave, I guess, a care package and food. Probably it's not a terrible idea to leave. Also. keep some worthless things and instead leave some more valuable things I need 30 shotgun shells I'll just hold on to disruptor shells recycle things Alright, so that's a decent care package that if for some reason I came back I could make use of, although not really a lot of reason why you come back to the crew annex. And then it, that really just does leave you with like coming over here, opening this immediately always fighting the mimic taking some neuro mods which yeah not really doing anything heavy so we didn't end up with a ton of neuro mods like, why would we hmm. so let's do something with the neuro mods three increase your run speed or increase your stamina run speed makes a lot of sense use up all the narrow mods and escape hmm. so does this unlock the custodian now that we can play it in this continued simulation or does that not happen until we start again we spent 7,000 points to get to here we, we have earned 24,000 points so far and now we have the incoming message exiting the simulation for another one of these cutscenes is it reasonable to believe that we would get all five of our characters escaped in this run? Probably not. But I do feel like the custodian may make up for a lot of other abilities that other people may have. Instead of having to repair with the engineer, you may be able to. 
So you have like this red slideshow utility still. Simulation ready, new objective. Start the simulation. And then you have the standard reminder and then what we've already seen. Remember that as you complete your orders in the simulation, the simulation itself becomes more complete. Therefore, it will also become more hostile. There will be new, notice new hazards. Uh, you also may find previously hidden elements that can help you. I mean, things in the simulation or records, so they're they are real. They might assist you in ways you hadn't thought of until now. Think about it very this carefully. So it almost feels like somehow in the simulation I'm going to find a way as the hacker to escape. Probably by uploading my consciousness to the operator. Uh, but even at that I would feel like they would figure that out. Okay. So it, get, it gets worse. Is now completed as far as the story objective. It doesn't seem like there's anything uh, else here. Claire Witten is actually a highly trained operator working under deep cover for Chasma, Transstar's chief corporate rival. She posed as a moon basis custodian for a long time before her ruse was discovered. Key abilities are hacking, stealth, sneak attacks, psychic edge, and remote manipulation. She has 100 health and 60 psi. She has a psychostatic cutter and a chasma command her objective her objective is to escape with the custodian using a escape pod to unlock their story objective hmm. it seems doable so i wouldn't want to play as the custodian yet i'm going to play as director you and then try to get into the pytheus labs that is, I think, our best bet as far as making this really work. Hmm. We still aren't quite where we'd like to be. A lot of times I'm not even using the Q beams, too. You know, throwing an anti rad into the mix for 300 might not be a terrible thought but we probably shouldn't do it now we could delay the time loop for 2500 points and now that we have that then i i think i kind of understand how we potentially win in total um obviously the move here is that you would spend store up as many points as possible for one final run and then in that final run you would slow down the corruption level as much as possible hmm. Hmm. Let's see and it seems like we probably did get one new ability chip but couldn't even tell you which one it was. It probably had an exclamation point next to it, and I probably just scrolled right over it too as I was scrolling down. Hmm. 
Hmm. If the director is the only one that can upload their consciousness, and we can get that ending and escape, that would be great. Here we have report five. Crater dust storms, malfunctioning ventilation systems, oxygen state, one area will always be without breathable atmosphere, corruption level increases faster, version two. Resource locations, creature types and locations, door states, corruption level, monitor installed, environmental hazards, corruption level increases faster, basilisk companion apps, power state, phantom corpses. Hmm. So, generally, okay. so. so we're at corruption level 3, and there's no oxygen, and I think we've got a moon shark that wants to potentially attack us, but I don't know if the oxygen situation um, really matters. Actually, the moon shark may not even matter. Alright, well, I just took the jet propulsion system, and so I don't really have any choice there anyways. Are these dust storms anything other than a visual hindrance? That's the real question to ask. Visual hindrance may be enough of a hindrance though. Hmm. I'm not really seeing an oxygen meter issue. Per se. Right. Escape pod is in the Pythias labs. Pythias labs are unpowered. Radiation is a hazard in Pythias labs. Oxygen is normal in everywhere except for the crew. Crater. Right. Yeah, it does just feel like I have infinite oxygen available to me. Alright, so we'll take these two, power that, that fixes the power problem. And everything is a rush. We'll use this shortcut we've used multiple times. The only difference now is if we did have the hacker ability, we could potentially come in here. Well, color me confused. There's Seemingly not a lot in here. Requesting request new operating operator. We have a supply room. See, I don't even have like a wrench. So if there was some kind of like special item secret thing hidden behind here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Except for that one anti rad. Which I don't know if that means possibly there's something more that we were supposed to 
find there or if we just had a really odd twist of luck there. It may very well be just a case that the game, let's see, supply, oxygen is that right way. It may just be a case that the game is uh, really Yeah. Yeah, I guess maybe the game just really is just randomizing things. The location of items more. And I guess maybe I have infinite oxygen because I have the helmet on, which I guess that does tell me I probably should turn put the helmet on everybody just to avoid running out of oxygen. Hmm. I'll wait a little bit longer. That, I'm not sure that guy is always there. Hello, hello. Hmm. Okay. So, spooky things. Okay. Let's take a moment and just think about where we're going and what we're doing. Our objective really had stopped hmm, at the point of just uploading a consciousness. So. Probably it's just better to do this. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way up there though, so... Hmm. How do we power... Workstation, escape pod, supply container. I thought I had restored power to the Pythias facility. Too many shotguns for my own good. Ooh. I think I see where I may have messed up. Um. So, we just gotta run back then. Is there 
a faster way through all of this. So yeah, it looks like I screwed up probably, and with that screw up, I didn't power this facility, which at a certain level it it feels like the game shouldn't have even gone into that level. Yep. It definitely feels like the game should have just said no. You can't enter areas if they're unpowered because the diminished return for playing in an unpowered area is so low. I guess the good news here is we can power everything up. Yeah. Well, so call that a whoopsie. Now we do have the time reduction on the corruption level, so it is possible we could still work with something. That's an interesting thing that just happened there in that um, by Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. I didn't, I didn't there. See you there. by transferring myself into an object while running forward I had continued forward momentum which yeah this was I guess where you would get oxygen although to me it doesn't seem like those oxygen bottles are usable unless you really need them and maybe they're not even usable then they may just be explosive barrels on top of the red explosive barrels seriously So it almost seems to me there's no way we're gonna miss that guy. Let's see. Need some food. Shotgun is broken now. Switch to another shotgun. Oh. Let's see what we've got. Typhon lure, glue charge. Let's see what happens when we do a glue charge. You know what we do? We do stuff I don't care about. Let's just run right past it and into the office. Definitely have some higher radiation elements in the office. Now, as far as the objectives of uploading your conscious, you do have to check the email first, and then this, this, and this, and then this, and this. Riley, Riley, things on Talos One are becoming, becoming unten untenable. It's time to set contingencies discuss into motion. Into motion. I need you to I need copy you to everything, copy everything you got, got onto the vault, vault operator, operator I sent you. 
The research, the research, connect the connectors, everything, everything. Morgan, was Morgan right. was right. The Typhon, the Typhon are all linked, linked. which means which whatever's happening up here, up here. Unlike the light they read to you, if it has been already. already. And this should, and go, this should without go without saying. saying. The weak we keep the board out of the loop. Of the loop. This, this, they'll find, they'll find enough, enough, anyway. enough anyway. Get it done, get it done. We'll talk, we'll talk soon. again soon. Oh, and no, Riley. Riley, be careful, be careful. I'm fairly, I'm fairly sure got at least got one these one has one working one for you. For you. You can see this telepath level 3 here is just not dying. Can we copy the data over, or are we going to have to run and go find the other body, and... You've successfully copied all Pythia's project data, I'll probably press OK to lower launcher. Before you Before launch you that, that operator, operator, I need you, I need you to take one last precaution. precaution. You have the you emulation, have the emulation that Morgan, Morgan was tinkering with. with. Use it, use it. Copy yourself. Copy yourself. I know it's I know it morbid. Seems morbid. But we can't we can't from the reality, reality you might you not might make it off the, get off the moon. This will this ensure, will ensure something at least something left of our, left family. our family. No one no else, one else is to deal with what's with coming. What's coming. I'm pulling I'm Talos, Talos, Talos dark, dark, after dark after this. Hmm. You won't be you able, won't to, be reach able to reach me. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see we'll each see other each Earth, side. Earth side. Goodbye, this goodbye Alex cousin. Seems to really care more about this cousin you would think. Alright, so how are we supposed to actually supposed to do this? Like, let's go to Neuromods first of all. And see, we've got three Neuromods. We can potentially use two of them, so let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, that, that'll just be one Neuromod left. And so we'll come over here and let's search here. Throw in the anti-rad, throw in elite shotguns, well leave shotgun shells. Four EMPs, worth it. Neuromods, well, how do we have three Neuromods again? We might be able to use that, so we should probably do that. Junk, not so much important. Food, spare parts, not really that important. Suit repair kits, not really that important. Organic material, we'll give that, that, and that. That, that. Spare parts may not be a terrible idea if we're going to leave it for the repair person. Actually. So, yeah, running up and getting that care package may actually be worth it. Again, just use this. Okay. Let's see. I got the back backup data I consume. I'll mirror my own consciousness onto the operator. If I don't make it, it'll be a part of me. Place data vault operator and launch tube. Hello, hello. Okay. So. We're putting it here. 
set in the brain emulation check. And okay. And this definitely feels like this is the, something that, at least on the first run, can only be done by direct Source, source, Wiley, Wiley, U, so it seems like maybe you got screwed there and that it destroyed the original copy hmm. Congratulations, you escaped sort of by emulating your consciousness and remember success of escapes on the same run leads to increasingly large sim point rewards. Right, and so that gets us more points. Now we're in a very good position, but we don't really have a lot of free time. So, wow, none of these want to load in. It's all kind of blurry. Um, move here is to play as this character. Next, I think. And immediately we'll do our default setup. Not really even using the Q beam, it's just not good enough. Let's see. So what I want to do is throw in the delay time loop to start with. The big question certainly would be the number of mods. There are mods. It's going to be expensive, but I think I'm going to end up doing six six neuromods just to start. You can't sell some of this. That extra key seems to do something special. Extra sim points. Extra this. Did we give her a propulsion system? I didn't think we did. That's the other thing. Definitely want to, want to give. Hmm. So extra points, extra propulsion, and extra health. Most of these abilities don't synergize especially well with our character. Now, th this is a big investment, certainly, so if this goes badly, that would suck. The hope is that we can ha hack the mirror consciousness, uh, the mirror gate open for the volunteer and then use the escape pod from Pythias Labs. Warning, warning, dude, 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 dude. Hmm. What is weird around this though will be the other escape. Mass driver I guess then would have to be hmm. like done by the repair person hmm. oh this is asking quite a lot certainly and still even if we do escape through the escape pod that doesn't finish the story objective so even if we got all five of our characters escaped in this one run which is one of the chasm's orders there's uh, yeah 
Escape with the custodian, escape through the portal in the lab, and escape with all five crew members. Um, there's still other story objectives that seem like they haven't been done. The director's story objective, I think, hasn't. Apparently, it's not being considered done yet. And the engineer's story objective hasn't been done. Of course, once we get to the engineer, we're also going to have other things that we can do. Right, first things first, hacking. Like This is like the only character that can do hacking. Hmm. Piloting. Could also do remote manipulation and phantom shift. Hmm. Rapidly change positions. And he's like companions. Yep. Conditioning for extra is probably better to take to start with too. I guess since we were able to upload everything then that may very well mean there is nothing more to scan. Which I'm kind of alright with that. And yeah, it's just not it's just not worth it to do anything else. There is no quicker way, I think, to do any of this. Just move as quickly as possible through this whole area and grab things. At a certain level, I guess, trying to convince the moon shark to not be near this would be nice being said fairly obvious it doesn't really matter hmm. so we have relatively little that we need to do here which is probably good because we really don't have a lot of resources or anything to fight a lot of people hello, hello. if anything her stealth ability could potentially have played a much bigger role as a thing I don't even know if it's really worth it to go places that don't matter versus sticking to places that do. Like that one probably could be hacked.
Yeah, it doesn't feel like you're getting a scanning ability on those. So, I would assume that everything has been scanned and there's just no more. His body seemed to completely have dissolved there. Alright. Level 3 hacking required, which means we would need more neuro mods. Which. Also, we would have to heal. I might be able to make a neuro mod if I spend a lot of time searching these environments for possible resources. Wrench Fabrication Plan Elite. Would I ever fabricate an Elite Wrench? Probably not. It's just really not my style. Let's just go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and use that as it is. a neuro mod so we now have two maybe a better cubine fabrication plan maybe the same cubine fabrication plan it really feels like the game is trying to give me as much stuff as possible All right. stores already unlocked Right. Take all that junk, take that, take the bolt caster, hmm. take this just in case we ever did want to use the psychic cutter. I think that all at the very least starts you down a good position of stuff to recycle. Let's see, is there actually anything in here? Wow, three neuromods too. Alright. So, hacking level three needs one more neuromod. And it does then bring about an interesting question as far as what specifically would need hacking level four. We need a metal and some exotic material. Let's see, what can we put giveaway that would give us exotic material? No wave transmitter. Get rid of that. Hmm. Then as far as metal is concerned. Got shotgun. Uh, it looks like there's exotic material in that too. Okay. There we go. One more mod down. Can I craft this? Yes, I can. So now. We can just go ahead and use that. We don't probably have too much of a setup otherwise, as far as getting more delayed time loops. But it 
does definitely change the game now because if you can now play the game from the perspective of always being able to craft um, the exotic material that'd be great now what sucks here is they're still making us do this dumb mini game that is something that could have easily been left on the cutting room floor for the DLC but whatever it's not like it's that hard Pause now if you want to read this. Pause now if you want to read this. Pause now if you want to read this. I don't know if there's anything more to this. So to go through the gate, you would have to be able to open the door, to be able to open the door. So hopefully what I didn't do there is blow up the opportunity to escape. Nope. Alright, so if we just have the code though, now. And that's hacked that should be fine but it does highlight that you need the engineer and the uh, let's see you, you need the engineer and the hacker in the Pythias lab which really just points everything down to being in the Pythias lab um, do we have an EMP thing? Yes, do we have an escape pod navigation chip? Yes. So. It's just stealth. Or run. This could be a problem because I don't think I can. I don't think this is particularly fair because hmm. like this thing is attacking me with something I really can't defeat at all. Hmm. 
can't go through here. So we, we died there. That's not super surprising that we died there. Now it just is a matter of doing this character. Okay. So yeah. I don't know if Q beam advanced even matters anymore. We really need a Q beam elite before we would even have a chance. Yeah. What else could have potentially worked there? Maybe a null wave transmitter. Hmm. Let's go ahead and give this character an anti-rad too because that would be the next thing you would do around this. And spare parts are something that would also, I guess, play a role. And I'm not going to take a propulsion system or a scope. We'll take extra one of those. And we will increase maximum health. And that will be it. And unless I'm completely confused, this should start us here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. I don't know why we have visual warnings showing up on our brand new shotgun. It does just feel like that is broken. Alright. As far as the little bird told me, that's in the crew annex. We're not going to do that this time. Instead, we're just attempting to regain points as much as possible. And so I guess the question is going to come down to do we have spare parts? To repair things we would need repair three do we have repair three do we have any way of getting repair three right. neuromods repair three would need eight neuromods There's just no way we're going to get that unless we searched the entirety of this facility. And even at that, I don't think we're going to get eight neuromods. Hmm. So I guess our hope here would be to either just escape through the moon base and the mass driver um, or escape through the escape pod. Are we qualified to do either one of those? Not really. I, yes, I can get spare parts, I guess. Wait a minute. If that guy's flying over there, maybe we can sneak past him and get lucky. Like if there literally is only a couple of operators this direction. We might be able to do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's your body. Come on. We got nothing. something I mean it's not the best possible option ever but it does like I would have had a real problem getting through this anyways All right. the real question though is do we have the navigation module that we do? escape and that just gives us points more points for setting up for another escape we did spend minimal points on this character I wish they would tell you how much you spent buying to compare it to what you earned because we probably we probably didn't spend seven thousand, but we may have spent three or four thousand to get eight thousand. Hmm. Unfortunately, yes, this one did not escape to move the story forward, nor did this one escape to start her story mode. Uh, well, she has escaped to start the story mode. She hasn't done the story mode. Um, so now the solution here is kind of bad let's see it almost makes sense to buy a glue cannon gun but what I think we're gonna do Take a little bit more of this. Don't take this. Take two of these. Typhon lure as a spare backup. One anti-rad is what we needed. Then we take the propulsion system and the psychoscope because of the oxygen situation. Which pretty much means everybody has to have the psychoscope likely in every run I kind of don't care if, uh, care to delay loop time increase our amount of points and increase propulsion increase our health so yeah we're spending about 8450 to set this character up <coughs> and will potentially only get 8,450 if he survives and escapes. Or we get a big bonus at the end for how many people in total escape. And one more escape really is worth it. Like, it kind of would make a lot of sense to me if the whole game like doubled for every new character that's escaped like that that would be a nice twist certainly is 
if every single escape doubled your points. I guess you have to get to the edges. That's how that works. Why is my health going up and down? Have a fairly short episode here, relatively speaking. I do wonder if that isn't perhaps part of the case here, is that you potentially have uh, players who, when you are game testing this, would have gotten really good at the end and had runs that were in the two or three hour level and there is just like a disconnect uh, as far as like what your average player's amount of time for going through one of these runs is because usually these runs have leveled themselves out to be close to probably should grab some resources while we're doing this um, yeah the levels have kind of balanced themselves out to be two two four hours and 45 minutes like long which is a lot Look, the bridge has been fixed. It was broken in previous runs. We're just finding three Neuromods. Uh, okay. I figured out that all you really have to do is climb up here and it doesn't matter that there's potentially a Technomorph with a Telepath or whatever. I suppose you have to actually successfully make the jump though. And if I just get this jump working and start it. I can literally just run through all this. Alright, let's see. Do we have another thing? Not really. Might be a better way up than what I'm seeing. Nope, it seems like it's probably just a just have to get the jump good and you have to have the propulsion system so that's a few extra points um, while we're doing this let's also 
use these three neuro mods to our best ability. Like, we can't even go into our inventory now if there's anything else to worry about. But yeah, pretty good run, but not five people escaping run. Uh, there's still a real question as far as just what elements may stick around in the next run and what elements may have to be done again. Um, and what potentially could be randomized in the next round and what potentially wouldn't be. But yeah, ideally closer to one hour and 30 minutes. This was about an hour and 40 minutes. Runs feel a lot better than being an OCD player trying to collect a whole bunch of items that don't really fit in your inventory and don't really do anything good for you. All right, we got 10,000 points, we spent about 8,000. So we're already up. So, yeah. I think that worked fairly nicely. That being said, we didn't get any more story mission around this. So Mimic Portal is still your default story objective for this character. There is now a story objective called Test Fire for this character, um, which I guess maybe there's two story objectives for this character. Uh, still trying to escape the via the escape pod. Um, inherently, there is that danger that we would get a run where the escape pod is in the crater, um, although that wouldn't be too bad of a situation and then a little bird told me so there is definitely a focus uh, around doing this and doing this this guy is probably not that necessary and could be one of the last characters to play as um, this guy kind of needs to be either fourth or fifth in overall though so yeah there's still some chasma challenges to do overall though we spent a lot of points so in that last run like they're just talking about the last run with the last character they're not talking about the overall run so but yeah we have 30,000 points I think you're probably going to want to play a couple times and try to get these story objectives done one by one before you try to have a everybody escapes in one run ending. It is very possible that everybody will be able to escape in one ending and you still would have story objectives. Um, but that that seems like they're probably thinking more along the lines that you would do that as your last run. And arguably, the story objectives are kind of interesting, so now that we've seen one all the way through, I probably would want to play for them and see them all the way through, even if I did get a run where all five of the characters escaped. But I, I'm not really expecting a lot new here. Not really expecting to fight a nightmare. Maybe we'll fight one nightmare in the whole run. And but I, I imagine we may see Moon Shark level threes, level fours, even level fives. Um, but I, I bet we're not seeing new characters. I bet we're not going to run into a lot of new areas it is questionable as far as the supply rooms whether those will refill or not and if there will be considerably better items than just one anti-rad in the supply rooms when we come across them um, there doesn't even seem like there's a chasma goal to 
open all of the supply rooms. Alright, well, this is a great point to end, so let's end here. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and get me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.